Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing Technical Minecraft Episode 4, and I am really excited for this one, because today we are going to be building our base entrance, and the dude who helped me with this is Evolution Gaming. I will link his channel in the description below, you can go check that out. Um, at this moment, he's got no videos, but he said he'll be uploading or something, so that's that. Anyways, um, pressed F1 already. <laughs> so that um, this is what I've got so far. As you can see, these are the materials we are building out of. And the reason we've been doing the whole cow thing is because I need to enchant a pickaxe to get Fortune 3 so I can go to the nether and get a whole bunch of quartz because I don't want it to go to waste with just a normal pick. So yeah, that, that's why we've been doing the whole cow thing. And also got a comment from Aaron Zoller which um, had an idea that I probably would have never thought of, and he said that I could basically push all the cows with just um, a water stream. So I will be doing that off camera. So yeah, um, this will be the middle of our base entrance, this and a side block right here. Okay, and it's quite big, I think it's like 20 or 20 to 30 blocks high. Uh, so yeah, and um, he's also been helping me designing the base. We've been building together. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get back to you once um, I make a bit more progress with those cows, and probably when I get them all in, I will get back get back to you. Didn't really think about that. <laughs> Water won't work in the Nether, obviously. So as you can see, I got all my buckets, and um, yeah, I was pretty disappointed when I placed down a. Uh, a piece of, uh, a bucket of water, it just didn't work. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of science and everything, so. Yep, just have to keep on doing this. Um, hopefully I can try, be more efficient with this and not get 13 through like last time. So I'm just gonna carry on, uh, trying to get all these cows to that farm. And also, I realized that I've found, I'm taking all these cows to where I found them. Meaning I could have bred them at that place and um, everything would have been so much easier. But I didn't know I was going to build the uh, cow farm there, so... Yeah, it's all hindsight, but um, anyways. So I'll just get back to you when I've finished all these cows and then we can move on to something else. After a solid half an hour to 40 minutes, it's finally done. Now that was so boring <laughs> but there they are the frame droppers the food providers the leather uh, people <laughs> they are finally there all 94 of them because six died I have no idea how but they did anyways let's give this thing a test Ugh, I hate looking at it so laggy um, okay. Let me just make sure everything's intact. Don't want them, like, pouring out and then have them all over the place. Okay. Just want to be super, super careful here. Alright. Okay, that that looks good. So, uh, oh, are they staying? Oh, my word, they are actually staying in. That is good. This is my way on right now. Oh, okay. Um... Yep, we're gonna use all our weed here. So it's gonna go down all the way. So we obviously won't get, oh my word, the frames are going down to 12 now. <laughs> okay. Come on, all of it, there we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna break this so I can get back up. And, uh, let's press that. Use our pusher. Any fall? Oh, whoa. Holy cow, like all of them fall back here. That's not good. There's a flaw in the system. How many did get there, though? Oh, quite a lot. But this, no, this is not good. Well, I guess we're going to have to change the design from a normal piston to a sticky piston with a block, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not going to have all of these cows just roaming around. 
Because when they uh, become big cows, then, yeah, they're going to be everywhere. So I've, I'll solve that problem, and it seems like I'll need to update my video. Anyways, so how many do we have? We had 94 there, so if we just look at the whole thing all together. 113, so 94 to 113, that's 6, 3, that's 9... So, there's ugh, like 19 cows there. <laughs> That's okay. So, I'm just going to wait for them to grow up and then we will um, cook them and see how it goes. Okay. They are finally grown up. So, let's give this a quick test. Chest is empty. Sounds are down. Let me just turn them up. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Press this button. Oh. What? That's very weird. Did they, like, take damage? Possibly? Because <laughs> that worked perfectly in the creative world. Uh. Huh. That's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> I think I figured out the problem. It was actually quite simple. I haven't tested it out yet, but it was basically uh, the wooden button, I think. So let's give this a test. Please work. Oh, a oh, few died. Um, but it seems like the drops are coming in. And that's all the leather. That's um, quite good. Plus I've got a whole bunch of leather back at the base, and awesome, I've got a whole bunch of food as well. A few cows died on the way, as I've said, six, so that's why I've got this raw steak here. And I think I'll just uh, leave it there to rot. So we got 39 cooked steak and 15 leather. That's awesome. So we'll be able to start enchanting very soon. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of levels from my skeleton farm. And also, I've got a whole bunch of sugar cane, so we can make a whole bunch of paper. And I've also got wood and everything. So, um, I think I can actually start working on the enchanting thing. I think I'm just going to set it up on the sand for now. And then... We'll move it into the main base a little later. Yes, the last one with all this lag is terrible. Uh, oh, it doesn't have efficiency. <laughs> That's fine. Oh my word, this lag, look at this. Even when I run away from this area, it still lags. The whole world lags. I don't understand it, as you can see. Sometimes it runs fine, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think I really need a new computer. I mean, I bought this like, I don't know, six or seven months ago. It was running perfectly, and now it's just crashing down uh, the past week has just been going crazy as you can see now I'm getting this random lag and I've like closed all processes and everything still lagging but anyways um, once I get the frame rate up we can uh, carry on I'm gonna mine some diamonds with this and uh, yeah so we should have a lot more resources now that I've got fortune 3 and the whole reason I was doing this, I forgot, <laughs> was because I needed quartz. And there, the frame has gone up. Frames have gone up like 10 more. Still 20, but anyways. So yeah, um, we'll see what I'll be doing in the next um, segment. I've made a bit of progress. Um, the day I'm recording this clip is actually the day this video should have been released, but um, I think... Um, the last clip I spoke about, my computer was having problems. Um, they seem to be gone now. So I can actually carry on. I've been doing um, a bit of uh, mining and um, a few odd jobs. Um, so far I've done this. 
I'm a bit of sorting. I've been enchanting books, AFKing at the skeleton farm. Because recording would, um, like, make the frames go down a lot and everything. But anyway, so, um, here's my mining. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, it's shift. Okay. So, there's all the redstone. Um, blocks. I've got 46 blocks of coal and a bit of coal there. 19 diamonds. Um, that much gold and all this iron. There we go. Got a fortune 3 pickaxe here. Fortune 3 and breaking 3 efficiency 4 pickaxe here. And I just recently made this diamond sword. Um, because I was enchanting a whole bunch of books and I made this diamond sword using all the books I enchanted. So I've got sharpness 4, I'm breaking 3, and fire aspect 2. And I named it Katana. Um, we can throw that golden helmet away because it's broken and stuff. Anyways, uh, also that can go. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, as far as I can tell, um, I don't have the resources to do our entrance yet, and I'm also having second thoughts about the entrance. Um, so if you don't know, I want my base design to be blue, white, and gray, and it also must be um, futuristic, futuristic uh, design, and at the time I thought my entrance was futuristic, but after looking at it for a while, I, re I realized it looked a bit like a chapel from a medieval time, like a medieval chapel that was blue and white and grey. Um, so I think I need to do a bit of redesigning with that. So if we go down here as well, um, there will be a hole in the wall here. Because I found a cave down there, like a giant one, and it had a whole bunch of iron and coal. Also, you can see um, these two things have been added. I went um, super far down there, super far down there, and I only found 21 diamonds, and then I used the two to make this sword. Got an anvil, there's some gold ore under it, which um, I don't want to get right now. <laughs> So that's basically all I've been doing. I'm not even sure what I said last clip. Um, if we were going to do something or not, I should go actually check that. But I think I've got a bit of re redesigning to do, so I'm going to figure out um, what we're going to do next. I thought this was worth recording. I hear a slime. There it is. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot. Oh, my word. This may mean... I have found a slime chunk without any external programs. Oh, and I can make sticky pistons. That's so cool. I actually needed a sticky piston for my cow farm with that uh, mini glitch thing that I got on it. Let me just kill these guys. I've got a feeling that this open area here is a slime chunk. Um, which is really good. Let's see if we can mark this thing out. Um, where, what am I looking at? Oh, it's that. So, is that another one? I think I hear another one. Okay, so that's the one corner. Um, okay, maybe I don't hear another one. I thought I might have. Um, wait, zero? Or was it, oh wait, it's the 15? And then, um, hold on, <laughs> what's happening? Oh yeah, 15 and then, oh, that... That could have killed me. But it didn't, so we good. Um, is it 15 and then 15? So I think there, that's the slime chunk right there. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, wait, what? Oh, 18, 17, 16. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna dig this out. Um, four blocks high, and I'll see if any slime spawn. Oh, we have a problem here though. Um, it messes up my stairs. Okay, I won't dig out the stairs or the water for now, but I'm gonna just dig out this small area, discluding the stairs, and we'll see if we get any slime spawning. Um, if so, what I can do is probably go one lower, maybe make a mini slime farm. Won't be the main one, obviously. But this is pretty cool. I've never, never found a uh, slime chunk 
without any external programs before. I hope this is a slime chunk. So I'm going to get to work and I'll get back when this is done. I have an idea for our base. It's been a few days since the last clip. Uh, my computer seems to be fixed now. <laughs> so that's why I haven't uploaded so far. If you noticed, I missed, I missed a few. It is Monday right now. So, anyways, my idea for my base is that I want the engines to be spherical. Um, I've actually built the whole thing. So what we're going to do is just build the first part of it. I'm going to use netherrack as my um, support beam things, I guess we can call them. Anyway, so this is going to be the shape uh, roughly, if I can build it. So I think it goes two up like that, up one, and then two across, um, three... Oh, is that... I think... I've done something wrong. Already. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. No, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, that's right, that's right. I think. <laughs> we'll see when we uh, go back down. <laughs> um, hopefully it's um, not wrong, because... That'll be quite weird. Pretty sure I've done everything right. Probably made some stupid mistake somewhere. And I actually think I know where I did. What am I doing? Oh. Huh. Okay. So if I break that. And now we are at a dead. Huh. Okay. I am so. Oh, 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 this is correct, this is right. Okay. So, this actually has to be flat. And that should be that. So, let's have a look. If we go back, F1, F8 maybe, even. Uh, yeah, no, 30 frames does not support that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that looks so wrong. Why does it look wrong? Hmm. Let me pull away some of the netherrack, and we will go check it out again. I think the netherrack makes it look ovular. Oh, yeah, that's a word. Okay. Are this, are this still netherrack bits? But that little brief moment I look for, um, at it, it actually looked right. So, let's check it out. Yeah, that's, that's good. Horse is in the way, but that's right. So basically, this is going to go five blocks back. So, um, this one, and then one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. So it will stop here, this huge um, cylinder, and then it'll go down, and then we'll have a um, what's it called? Um, a <laughs> a hallway, um, which I've actually designed. It actually looks quite cool. And then that hallway is going to lead to an elevator, which will take us up or down. Um, right now, I think I want to go up the mountain. And it will take us up to our giant room um, in the mountain there. And then we can also go down, of course. And This thing will expand, and I'm hoping it will become super big. And yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on working on this, I think. I think we are almost out of time for this video, <laughs> but anyway, I will see you on the next clip. Well, I can't believe it. I've just checked the time of this video, and it's already over 25 minutes. So that means I'm going to have to end of this episode here. I was hoping to do a time lapse of me building this, but that's probably going to come at the beginning of the next episode. So, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one.